Hello, good morning children. Welcome to the online classes of computer standard 4. Today we learn about history of the computer. So the word computer comes from the word compute which means to calculate the first computer where in fact people whose job was to perform long and difficult calculation all day long but these calculation used to make a long time and also led to many careless mistake so scientists started searching for simpler faster and more accurate ways of doing calculation and finally Many years later, the computer was invented. Computers, as we see them today, were not invented in one go. There were other stages in between. So, let us learn about this fascinating journey. First is Abacus. And Abacus was the first mechanical calculating machine that was used to count large numbers and do arithmetic. It was invented about 500 years ago in China. It consists of a number of rods with beads to represent numbers. Calculation on an abacus are done by sliding these beads across the rods. Second is Pascalin. This calculating device was designed in 1642 by Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician. This was the second mechanical counting device. It could handle decimal values by rotating a wheel from 1 to 9 steps. The picture here shows an 8 digit Pascaline. The dials of this machine worked just like a telephone dial. So the third is tabulating machine. Hermann Hollerith, a German American mathematician invented the tabulating machine in 1890. This was an electrical device which could read data, process it and then give accurate result. This product became so popular that Hollerith started a company which later became IBM. Next is analytical engine. Charles Babbage, a British mathematician who is regarded as the father of computing, designed this machine in 1850. The analytical engine was powered by a huge system engine, sorry, huge steam engine. The input was given in the form of punch card. To generate the output, a printer, a bell and another device called a curve plotter were used. Next is John Eniac. So Eniac was invented by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert. And the full form of ENIAC is electronic, numerical, integrator, and computer. Okay, the full form of ENIAC, E N I A C, is electronic, numerical, integrator, and computer. Once again, full form of ENIAC is E for electronic and for numerical, I for integrator, and uh, C for computer, electronic, numerical, integrator, and computer. So the ENIAC used decimal digits instead of binary digit. It was the first high speed electronic digital computer. It was in use from 1946 to 1955. Development of the computer. So that was the history of computer and next is development of the computer. The development of the computer took place in various stages called generation. 
okay you know about the generation of computer but if you know we learn about one by one first generation of computer it is between 1940 to 1956 computers during this time were very large and expensive they consumed large amounts of electricity and generated a lot of heat Examples of first generation computers include the Univac first and the ENIAC computer. So Univac first refers to universal automatic computer. Univac first is refers to universal automatic computer. Means it is uh, universal automatic computer. It was the first commercial computer produced in the USA. The computer used vacuum tubes and magnetic drums. So first generation computer used vacuum tubes and magnetic drums. Vacuum tubes were used for calculation as well as to control and store information. Vacuum tubes are not so successful because they would heat up and get damaged. So magnetic tapes and magnetic drums replaced vacuum tubes a magnetic drum is a cylinder shaped metal coated with a chemical on which data can be stored this was this is the first generation of computer next is the second generation of computer it was uh, in 1956 to 1963 during the second generation vacuum tubes were replaced with transistors Transistors use a special material that helps in controlling the flow of electricity through the circuit. Transistor based circuits were better than vacuum tube based circuits because they were smaller, faster, more powerful and more energy efficient. Computers become smaller, faster and cheaper. They used less energy. So it was possible to do programming on these computers. Computers of this generation were mainly used in the atomic energy industry. The transistor used in a second generation computer was enormous which often caused damage to the computer. This become a big problem. So this is the second generation of computer. It <coughs> Next, third generation computer. It was in 1964 to 1971. Integrated circuits were developed at this stage. A circuit is a closed path along with electric current flows. And an integrated circuit has many elements that are interconnected. They cannot be separated. Transistors become smaller and were placed on silicon chips. These chips are called semiconductors. Semiconductors are material that can conduct electric currents. They are used in many electronic or computer based in devices. They increase the speed of computers. A silicon chip is a single diamond like crystal that gives a lot of power to our gadgets. Many different programs could run on, run on these computers at the same time. So, in this generation, there are lots of uh, examples of uh, this generation computers. That means fourth generation computers, desktop computers, laptop computers, and pumped up computers. Okay. Next is fourth generation computer. That is 1971 to onwards. These computers are still in use and are being further developed. Microprocessor chips were developed during this stage. A microprocessor is a device that uses data in its digital form as input. Then it processes this input according to the instruction already stored in it and gives the result as an output. 0 and 1 are coded to do arithmetical operations. These are known as binary numbers. Some computers of this generation are very small. They can fit 
into the palm of the hand these computers are fast and efficient and were widely used the mouse and other handheld devices such as the joystick were developed during these days computers can be linked together in a network to share information with each other this has also led to the development of the internet fourth generation computers are more powerful reliable and affordable than earlier generation computer of this generation use real time multi programming operating system they have been used for remote processing and time sharing the next is fifth generation computer these computers are still being developed they have very high storage capacity speed and efficiency computer of this generation are often called super computer a super computer has many central processing units connected together and can carry out a large number of scientific operation in very little time computers are being developed in such a way that they can think on their own like human beings do this is also called artificial intelligence robots work on this technology computer of this generation have used special uses which include robotics games and system to analyze problems and find solution they are also used in healthcare system so today we learn about the history of computers and the development of computers so today the class is ended and